Hey, what's up guys? It's Dom from MacMixing.com and I'm just on my way home right now. Don't try this at home, kids. It's dangerous. But, uh, you know, I just wanted to not be in focus. Hey, what's up guys? This is Dom from MacMixing.com and I'm just driving home on the freeway. I just wanted to bring up some things real quick while I have the time. First thing, uh, I know you guys probably heard about the new camera hack for iOS 5 and the little uh, keyboard hack. I want to bring some attention to that because that's pretty freaking awesome and you know what? Now I wonder what else is Apple hiding from us within this glorified iOS 5 and trust me, I mean it's definitely awesome. I I have nothing against iOS 5. I love it to death. But I just want to know what else they're, what else they're hiding. I just want to know what else they're hiding. <laughs> Uh, you know, I mean, it'd be nice to see what else is in store for iOS 5. I'm a nerd like that, you know. That's why it leads me to think, like, why wouldn't they be hiding 4G capability in a phone? You know, why not? Seems to make sense. They can hide a uh, hidden panoramic camera mode, which is would be pretty awesome if we had that right out of the bag, right? Instead of having to just hack our phone and whatever different way possible. I just wish we knew more of what Apple was hiding from us and what's in the future, you know? And, and what sucks is there's probably some things that we'll never know that maybe Steve Jobs didn't tell anybody before he died. I just wanted to bring us some attention to that. And also, if you haven't downloaded the new update for iOS 5, uh, 5.0.1, go ahead and update it because it's gonna fix your battery problem. And if you do it on an iPad, It'll also add multitask gestures to the original iPad. That's another little software limitation similar to Siri that Apple's threw out there. And you know, I love Siri, I have a 4S and whatnot, but I do kind of see how it's only a software limitation, or it could be. To me, that should be something that's fixable, but I know that'd probably tick off a lot of people that bought a 4S, you know, for Siri, thinking that it was like some exclusive, like special thing. So, hold on, I'm trying to switch my hand. My arm's getting tired. Multitask gestures are cool. I don't know if people were excited that they had an iPad 2 and they were excited that they got multitask gestures. And maybe that was uh, the reason why some people bought it when it was enabled. Either way though, I think that some of these software limitations could definitely go away. I mean, and, and, and just kind of bridge the gap between everybody. Why can't, uh, why can't a 3GS have Siri or an iPod Touch? iPod Touch with Siri would be pretty cool except it would be kind of pointless because it would only work at your house uh, when you're sitting on your couch. And if you're asking Siri to give you directions somewhere and when you leave your house, then you're not going to have Wi-Fi anymore. So I think it'd be pretty cool if they made an iPod Touch with uh, like 3G. And you could be able to opt in and download content on your iPod Touch wherever you go, like music and stuff. You know, what the iPod was built for. Uh, so, I don't know. I look kind of like a weirdo now because I'm not on the freeway and I'm around all these cars and they probably think I'm talking to myself. Whatever. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. Uh, go check out uh, my channel Mac Mixing and my other channel Mac Mixing Audio. Mac Mixing is just basically all Apple stuff. Mac Mixing Audio is all audio production stuff because I do audio production and that's what I love to do. And uh, I also love Apple and I'm up the arm now you told you I blah 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 blah. Uh, so, cool guys, thanks again for watching. This is Dom from MacMixing.com. Please subscribe in the button somewhere. Uh, you know where it's at, you see it. Uh, thanks again guys, have a good day.